Hi guys and ladies. Today the weather is too rainy, cold, and windy to spend much time fishing. So what do you say we try it for a short while, and then we'll go in the house and make KFC chicken. <laughs> you know me, it has to be low carb, bogus KFC chicken. I'm gonna make my first cast right here on the dock. Oh my god, he broke off! Oh no! I had an enormous fish. It had to be a catfish. Wow! He broke off, but he didn't break the line. He just broke off. Wow, was it big! I mean, this thing was huge! It had to be a catfish. I could feel the pulsating fight of a huge fish. It had to be a channel catfish. But that was it for this cold, ugly day. So let's start that KFC chicken by first whipping up a flavorful wild marinade like I've never seen before. First, I want to show you this. I need to take out of this package six boneless thighs. Now I'm trying to cut these into like dipping sized pieces. Now it's on to the marinade. Here's a half teaspoon of lightly dried basil. You know that stuff I get lightly dried. Here's a half teaspoon of thyme. That's spelled with a Y. Here's another half teaspoon of oregano. Now we've got a teaspoon of celery salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of mustard powder. I just poured in a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ginger powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. You didn't see that. Now it's a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of white pepper, and a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I know we put in garlic powder, but this recipe is weird. Here's a heaping teaspoon of crushed garlic. From the jar, a little more. Teaspoon and a half. Now here's two tablespoons of milk. Actually it's half cream and half water because I don't keep milk in the fridge. Let's see what happens when I try to whisk this. Let's add another tablespoon of cream. This will spread it better. Now let's see what happens when we dump our chicken pieces in there. Let's dunk them down in there. I think that's it. Let's try wrapping this tightly. I'm going to let this marinate in the fridge for at least an hour. And in the meantime, let's start on a side of mac and cheese. <laughs> No ordinary mac and cheese, you know me. It has to be low carb mac and cheese. Once again, cauliflower comes to the rescue of our low carb diet. Here's what I did. I took a really large head of cauliflower and I broke it down into these little florets. And now all I'm going to do is microwave the whole pot for like 10 minutes. Now, let's see if we could drain this. Now I'm further going to dry off our little noodle impersonators, our macaroni impersonators. I need to spray this casserole dish. Now I've got to try to get the cauliflower into the casserole dish. Let's lightly salt these. Now I'm just going to put our phony macaroni aside. Now we need a cheese sauce to go along with our pasta impostors. Here's a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to bring it to a boil. Cream doesn't scald nearly like uh, milk does. I've got the cream simmering. Look at this. This is three ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to dump it in. I'll whisk and melt it. I'm putting in a big heaping teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Here's some salt, pepper, and garlic powder all combined. Here's one cup, even a little more, of sharp cheddar cheese. Oh. You gotta be careful. Let's melt this down. This is good, this is good. I'm gonna pour this on top of our cauliflower. Oh, let's pour our beautiful mixture on top. Let's mix it now. I, I think this is what we're supposed to do. 
Okay, now I'm just going to top this with more shredded cheese. The directions are all mixed up. In one place it says one cup, in another place it says one and a half, another place it says two. I'll have it right in the notes. I'm going to pop our naughty boy in the oven for just 15 minutes until it gets brown and nice and melty. Look at this bucket. I've got to show you this bucket. A friend of mine, Booger, has something very similar. You might know her. I think I'll leave a, a link to her channel below because she's really good. Here's three ounces of whey protein powder. This has the consistency, I found out, of cornmeal. And here it is. It's not flavored. I think this will make a good coating. I don't know. So I put it in there. Look at this. We're going to put our chicken on top of this. I'm going to put our marinated chicken in this top floor. Maybe half. Let's go half. I don't know if this will work, but here goes. You see, we just transfer the powder to the chicken and we coat it and we'll see what happens. You can use almond flour, but I want to try this stuff. It's all powdered up. I'll put this in a holding plate and we'll get ready to fry it. In the meantime, our mac and cheese is ready. Let's get it out. It looks good. It's not brown, but it looks very good. Back to the chicken. This is my fry baby daddy, and I've got the oil set at 375, but here's the bad news. While this powdered chicken was sitting in the plate, it got all moist again, and I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to fry it the way it is because time is short. Let's see what happens. Let's go about five or six minutes. It's been about six minutes. Let's see. Whoa, they're dark. Look at how dark they are. I hope they taste good. I knew this day was coming. Look at this. It's a disaster. I can't even get it free from the fryer. These are the ones I got free. Well, at least we have mac and cheese. Not so good. One time I tried eating shoe leather, and I think it was better than this. This video is officially a disaster. You know, Miss Lulu Cheeks, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, is on her way over here for dinner tonight. And it's disappointing enough because you probably know I've been pursuing her for decades, yet she seems to be avoiding marrying me. We've got different interests, you see, and different pastimes, and I don't think she appreciates the knowledge and skill that goes into my fishing hobby. Certainly she knows I can't cook. <sighs> Miss Cheeks? Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I mean Lulu. Uh, I'm sorry to make this call, but my meal was a disaster. Do you mind picking up a pizza for us? I'm a little short on cash. I spent it on a new fishing rod. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you so much. You know where to go. Pepperoni and sausage. Yes, that'll be great. In the meantime, I'll throw out the chicken. It's terrible. Yep, bye-bye, thank you. Look how the juices from the chicken kind of ooze through and make glue out of the breading. I think I may have called for help too soon because now look, it's coming out pretty good. What I did was I put the whole bunch of chicken in here in the whey protein and shook it up and then you have to keep making sure it's separated and this only goes for like three minutes it's done in three minutes not five or six or seven like they say in the recipe well now what she's coming with pizza we'll save this for another night actually my chicken doesn't look half bad look at that i've made some dipping sauce here i'll have the recipe in the notes oh, oh. That's really good. Mmm. Don't overcook it because now it's great. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Moist inside, crunchy outside. This is really good. Now, what do we do with the pizza? This dipping sauce helps it. This is wonderful. Actually, very, very good. Now, what? While she's picking up the pizza, let me try real fast a little taste of my mac and cheese. Mmm, 
I taste the cauliflower, but it's very good. Very creamy. Mm-hmm. Here we are once more with our very special guest, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And welcome to my uh, lamentable, leaky lean-to. And um, I'm so sorry that my KFC chicken looked at first to be such a disaster. So I, I had to, to call you for help. And thank you for picking up the pizza. I'm sorry you had to pay for it, but I needed that fishing rod last week. <laughs> and the chicken cost some money, well, too. sure. <laughs> but you did have a chance to take a bite of my fried uh, KFC chicken and my... Uh, counterfeit mac and cheese and what well, what did you think it was all very good you did a great job on the, the flavor of the chicken Crispy. was good and it looked really good and it tasted even better than it looked and it was really good thank you thank you and of course the mac and cheese mm -hmm. i always love a lot of you know cheese. lots of cheese <laughs> i'm a cheese Freak. hound yes oh, thank you so You're much welcome. miss cheeks oh i i mean lulu uh i i don't know if you uh appreciate my skill uh, for the sport of fishing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, th there's an old saying that I'd like you to be aware of. You give a man a fish and he'll eat just for a day. But if you teach him to fish well, you know what? Uh, he'll show off on YouTube. Huh? <laughs> Can I have a hug?